MRI of lumbosacral spine, sagittal image. Again, so this is a mid-sagittal image. Skin covering, spinal cord. This is the ligament and flavum. The posterior longitudinal ligament, which would be at the posterior aspect of the vertebral bodies. This is a supraspinous ligament. So this is the one which is present above the spinous process. And in between the spinous process is going to be interspinous ligament. So this is interspinous. And the one on the top is the supraspinous ligament. Conus medullaris, the area where the spinal cord ends, commonly T12 or L1. L1 spinous process, subarachnoid space, L2 spinous process, the CSF fluid, L3 spinous process, so on and so forth. This is the disc space that is present in between the two vertebrae. This is the corda equina, nerve roots which are present. Anterior longitudinal ligament is through the anterior aspect of the vertebral bodies. Intervertebral disc over here. Basi vertebral vein which is present at the mid vertebral body. Intervertebral discs. Now, parasagittal image of the lumbar spine will show us the foramen and the nerve roots that come out of the foramen. So as you are seeing over here, this is a foramen. And the nerve root is going to come out from here and go and supply in the leg. So all the different nerve roots, L5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you have been able to see properly on this MRI. So that if the compression is there or the canal stenosis is there, you can catch it. And this is the pedicle of the vertebrae. The vertebrae, the posterior elements are joined with the anterior via the pedicle in between.